she done climbed in the back seat, <laughs> is laid out on the back seat of the car like some drunk. I was not like half a drunk. out of her mind. I was not half out of my mind either. I was perfectly coherent. Hey y'all, so I have been saying that I'm going to be working on my core and I started the day before yesterday um, doing planks. My whole core from here to here is hurting. <laughs> But that's good because that means that I'm doing something right. So I'm going to do some more planks before I go to bed tonight. I kind of realized that I put it off all day and now it's 11.55. Um, so I'm going to do them now. And I just want to tell you all that I am doing stuff. I am not taking swimming lessons right now. I finished my two-week session. I'm not taking swimming, taking swimming lessons right now. And I'm going to be doing core stuff. Um... I'm gonna try to add some cardio in too. And then we have like summer activities for the whole month of July. But then in August, I wanna to try to take another set of swimming lessons with stronger core and see how that goes. Now, my objective with that is to be able to tread water better, right? Cause I have more strength and to be able to um, do better with kicks and stuff like that. Keep myself up with floats. Um, like just have a stronger kick when I do the strokes. So I'll also, I'm gonna be doing core, but also trying to do things that will strengthen my legs too. Um, just to give me a bit more strength there so that when I'm doing the kicks, I'm not like, uh, <laughs> after like 10 seconds. So I'm going through these planks now. And I'm not doing the up on your hand ones because my wrists have been hurting for several months. So I'm doing the ones where you lean on your forearms. So what happened today? Um, I got, I basically finished. There's what? Lessons. You finished your food lessons. High five. <laughs> Good stuff. So, what else what you got? And I think we're going to be doing the shredding certificate. Going for a certificate now. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> so, it's your certificate. Sweet. <laughs> Awesome Parks Recreation Department Instructional Swim Program. So Kalani finished level three. She started at level two, but the teacher moved up to level three because she would be on that level. So what's the back? So the back is all her skills she accomplished. Yay! I'm gonna check that out, baby. <laughs> Good job. Hi hey, y'all. Another brief, quick little uh, Eric Austin eats. We are at Plucker's Wing Bar. Never been here before, but heard it's good. I'm not even sure if it's just strictly Austin or if it's all over, but I've only ever seen them here. Anyway, we were out and about and we got hungry and we smelled wings and we were like, gonna get us some wings. So first, while we're waiting for order, we ordered some of their fried pickles and I generally like fried pickles, but y'all, these are the best fried pickles I have ever had. Now this is just half of one here because there's virtually none left. Uh, I won't eat yours, don't worry. I'm just showing them. Instead of rings, like I usually like chips, like I usually see them, they did a whole pickle wedge. So it was like, this is like a little bit less than half of one. Anyway, some ranch sauce. Y'all, these are the best fried pickles I have ever had in my life. They are so good. So, Pluckers Wing Bar, your, your, your pickles. Yeah, see? Good? What do you think? Good? What do you think? They were amazing. You got my head from my ear. <laughs> you still have my lips. They're fast. They're amazing. Those were incredible. Wow. Look at that. they cool down. Well, they come out hot because they were deep fried. Anyway, I can't wait to see what their wings are like. If they're if they're on par, it's gonna be a good experience. So Kalani got a Caesar side salad. I've never seen a Caesar side salad that looked quite like this before, but look at that. What do you think? <laughs> What's on there? I see beans and fried is that fried onions or peppers so. or what is that? If it's peppers, you're going to eat it. Well, anyway. Hmm. Alright, it's here y'all. Look at the wings. Todd. Sweet potato fries. That's mine. 
Korean wings. Look at this BLT, y'all. Six slices of bacon. And this bypass burger. What is in here? Look at all that. Ooh, it's got jalapeno, jalapeno, bacon, onion, lettuce. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to taste this. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try one. I'm gonna, sorry, now you can see me. I'm gonna try one here. Hey, how's that fry? Is that good? All right, here we go. Dip in a little blue cheese. All right, here we go. Mm. See? That's how buffalo chicken wing is supposed to be, right there. Mm. All right, fuckers. You got my vote. I'll give this one a win. I'm saying at least four stars. Maybe four wow. and a half. That's impressive. Pretty good. All around. I'm trying my Korean wings. For its genre. I mean, you know. Mmm. I think it's sweet. There's something else in my 52 as well. <laughs> hey, you dying over there? Spicy. That's really good. I don't know if you know what blue gobi tastes like. Korean barbecue. It's not a similar flavor. That's, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna taste this up. It's exactly like Korean barbecue. Look at this too. Oh my gosh. That is really good. Mmm. Mm hmm. Alright, what do you think, little one? Mm. Is it bacony enough for you? See how much bacon is on that sandwich? Uh huh. Joshua. Hmm? Joshua's enamored with the TV. He hasn't even tried his food yet. What you think? Is it everything you wanted? Yep. All right, y'all. I'm gonna put this thing down now so we can enjoy that. But there you go, another episode of Eric's Austin Eats, and we picked a winner. These are the best cookies ever. Y'all ever had these? <laughs> best cookies ever. We used to eat them all the time in Israel, and Eric brought some back for us from his flight. But y'all don't know. <laughs> Why is it so dark in here? Oh, let there be light. What y'all don't know is that, what y'all don't know is that Eric has been gone for like five days. He just got back um, last night. Well, this morning at like midnight. So last night at midnight of the day. And he went to a friend's wedding in California and now he's back. What are you doing? Nothing. You're totally in my film, in my movie. Oh, I am? <laughs> He came back and um, he was at a friend's wedding in California that he officiated and was the best man for. There's a story there. And he brought back those little Biscoff cookies, biscuits from the plane for us. And I needed some more in my life. So when we had our, what's the thing called? Instacart order today. He got some and I had forgot to mention it when he first put in the order, but then he was able to put it in late and they came. He didn't tell me though, so I just came in the house and saw them. I was super surprised. These, even though it's broken. Mmm. They're so good. Happy Fourth of July if you're an American. Da 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 how are you? This is the green bathrobe. This is my green bathroom. I'm kind of irritated right now. Why? Not really, but <laughs> would you want to be on the, <laughs> on the interwebs looking like this? Really? I told y'all to show Kalani with her hat on. She just walked around the house with her stocking hat on. With it's not my stocking hat. It's, it's my thug your, life hat. Your my hat. It's your thug life hat. Did yeah. you hear her? <laughs> you are such a thug. <laughs> 
What you making? Tell the world what you making. Grits. She making some grits. This girl loves grits and bacon so much <laughs> that she will make them herself. No, no. No bacon. No eggs. Not today. Just grits. But she will That's make grits she and bacon. My just point grits. is today just grits. But she will make grits and bacon. She will make bacon for herself and she will make grits for herself pretty yes. regularly. And she will not she'll, make an egg to save her life. She'll even make a sunny side up egg. But mm. you will too make sunny not side usually. up. She will, if she wants an egg, it'll be a sunny side up egg. She never wants an egg. I've been home while you're at work and she wants Did a sunny side up egg. <laughs> what? You Maybe made twice. eggs more than once. Anyway, y'all, this girl making some grits for us right now. Thank you. That's it, just grits. But Eric has to make the eggs because she refuses to make eggs. I didn't want to make breakfast this morning. Eric is busy getting yeah, ready to I, make. You're making part of breakfast. Party breakfast. Eric's part, getting part ready to make. Breakfast. Oh. Not party breakfast. He's making our. Um, tell him what you're making. I'm sure they want to know. I'm going to make fruit salad. And I'm going to make some. Wait, with these. I'm going to make some deviled eggs. Mm. I'm going to make... Deviled eggs are Eric's grandma's specialty. You got her recipe for the most part, right? Somewhere. Yeah. You need to make those. Her eggs are so good. Um, I think it's done. No, nah, those grits ain't done. No, they ain't done. You, Look those at have them. Been, they haven't been on long enough. Girl, cook them grits. Look at them! They ain't done. She's just learning, y'all. She'd be making microwave grits for herself, so she's growing. And then you're making deviled eggs. Close that camera, um, please. And then, you see that? The chocolate chip tried to commit suicide. <laughs> um, I'm gonna grill some burgers. Hallelujah. Some, some yeah, hamburgers so I'm gonna make up. And, and what you gonna do with the hamburgers? Cause they're not just gonna be plain. Well, I don't have enough bacon for everybody. So I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna just chop up the bacon and put it in with the hamburger meat. Chop up the bacon. Ooh, so ooh, bacon that sounds good. Yeah. Last time he he uh, made burgers, y'all, he wove like oh I did a, a bacon pattern. weave. That's yeah, right. And put them on top of the burgers. I'll insert a picture <laughs> if I can find it and if I remember. The bacon weave that was kind of fun, but that's fun labor intensive, delicious. and we don't have enough bacon for that. Okay. We got enough bacon for maybe a weave and a half. I believe. <laughs> Bacon is good in burgers. It is. Um, that is that's this, this disgusting. This is a third person. <laughs> and every time you talk, she was making a call like that. <laughs> Put her thug life hat on. <laughs> um, so not going now. Anyway, I'm going to grill the burgers mm -hmm. before we go over to the reader's house. Mm -hmm. And then leave it alone. It well, she got a stir. She's the stir it going. Well then stir it. Um, and then we're gonna just kind of warm them up with some cheddar cheese mm. and some, I got some lettuce and tomatoes mm. and, mm. and stuff. And then we got some chips. I'm gonna make some homemade dip. Oops, I forgot to get a packet of something that I need for the dip. Oh, what kind of dip is it gonna be? Oh, uh, we can either do ranch dip or onion dip. I vote for onion dip. Well, then we need to go to the store and get Lipton onion soup mix. Hmm. Okay. And then what else? That was the secret ingredient, Daddy! You just everybody know it. No, everybody knows that. <laughs> everybody knows that. <laughs> everybody knows that trick. Mayonnaise, sour cream, Lipton onion soup mix. This is, this is my life. <laughs> These two. She's such a thug. You are being a thug right now, for real. I'm going to take this hat off you so you can stop. <laughs> wow. Um... And then, and then, and then, I think that's it. I think okay. That's all I'm making. No veggie. Uh, are they bringing? Are they having a salad? What's I don't up? know about that. No, they didn't say nothing about no salad. They said they got chicken and buttermilk pie. Ooh, we we need to bring some celery sticks, some celery. Ooh, that was painful. <laughs> okay. Got her. So thank you. Love yourself. Love yourself. Love ah! yourself. Love Yo, yourself. Your chesticles are stuck in the show. <laughs> <laughs> so I just got out of bed I've been awake but I've been on Facebook reading people's 4th of July posts and I'm super happy about my once busted braid out that at least is fluffing up into something presentable look I took my plants down to water them they were needing love and I usually have them high up on the shelf and um, I can't reach them so I took them down to water them because you need to take them down to water them you know and I'm opening the blind, so that's why it's getting lighter and 
by degree in the room. <clears throat> anyway, if you are an American, I hope that you have a good 4th of July, that you enjoy your day, that it is special for you. And so I'm gonna go now and probably do a little bit of editing so that I can get a video up here for y'all today, which is the 4th of July, but it won't be the 4th of July video because that's this one. And I will talk to y'all later, girl. Uh, bye. And there's the breakfast that I've already started eating. Yum, yum, and yum. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, hon. You're welcome, love. He's hiding behind the wall there. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey again. Happy fourth again. <laughs> Look at these guys. Kalani made an outfit for her her stuffed animals just like she did last year. She sold outfits for the 4th of July. Then there's a guy back there. Happy 4. Happy 4. Honey. Happy 4. So you saw us this morning. Now we're dressed. We have clothes on. Hair done. Makeup did. Apparently it's National Afro Day, so I decided not to wash my hair the other day and let her just be glorious. So there you have that. We just went to a friend's house and had barbecue and she did something with this chicken. She brined it, I think, first. She brined it and then slow cooked it for a while. And then, then she, she made, made homemade barbecue. Yeah. Or she and she did like a dry rub on it. Yes. I don't know. And she did a dry and rub then, and then she did homemade barbecue sauce. And then made homemade barbecue sauce and then just threw it on the grill for a few minutes with that oh. homemade barbecue sauce. So good. It was probably the best barbecue chicken I've ever had in my life. It was really good, y'all. It was good. It was good. And Eric made burgers, cheeseburgers. They turned out really bacon. good. They were with bits of bacon. I was like, if that, if that chicken hadn't been so glorious, they would have been like phenomenal. But the chicken just the, way out the showed burgers the burgers. Were really good. Well, no, I don't think so. They were two different things, and the, the chicken was a little bit salty to me. Oh. But I liked it all. It was all really good. His burgers have bacon broken up into it, and. Um, chopped up into the into the ground beef and you were gonna put blue cheese sprinkles in it crumbles in it i thought about it i think you should have i think the blue cheese would have been inside the burger i think it yeah. would have gotten lost but it might have been nice to have blue cheese crumbles to put on the burger after the fact yeah it would have been a nice flavor but those were good too i made a fruit salad do we still have it yes okay i made a fruit salad and they grilled vegetables on kebab sticks. It was good. We had some Moscato, and guys, I forgot. They have two little Yorkies that are super cute, And but I'm allergic. You know, I'm allergic to cats and dogs, even though I love both. Cats more, but I love dogs too. And so I took advantage of when I got there because I know the drill. If you have allergies, you know this is the drill. You take your allergy medicine. So I took my Benadryl, and then I promptly forgot, and I'm usually on top of stuff like this, and I had some Moscato. Why do you take Benadryl instead of like Claritin or Because something? Benadryl is the most effective for me. It really? always works best. Yep. Like the Zyrtec or the Claritin doesn't work as well? Nope. Benadryl always works the best. Oh. But the problem with it is that it makes me drowsy. Well, I figured just one, I can tough it out, it won't be that bad. But then I had a glass, like two, well a glass and a half of wine. <laughs> but it was really like, you know, Moscato's not that strong, so I didn't, I didn't even think about it. And then... And I don't know, this like 20 minutes. From a woman who like checks every single label, reads all the ingredients and all the indications, and won't like like touch something if it's even remotely a possible <laughs> risk. I didn't think about it at all. Plus, you were talking about you were sleepy, and I was like, maybe that's it. We just ate and we're full, but it wouldn't go away. And after a while, we were sitting outside looking at the fireworks, and finally, I just opened my oh, car. So she just like disappeared. I'm like, I just opened the car, <laughs> and I realized she done climbed in the back seat. <laughs>
is laid out on the back seat of the car like some drunk. I was not like half a drunk. out of her mind. I was not half out of my mind either. I was perfectly coherent. I just had the back That's of door. What she said. I was perfectly coherent. Don't try me. Don't try me right now. So I opened the two sides so I got a nice oh, cross Lord. breeze. And um and then just lay down. I put I have a, a wrap coat that I keep in the car in case it's cold inside someplace we go. And then I what are you doing? <laughs> I was not like that. Don't believe him. I was not like that at all. Did you see yourself? Not even a bit. I wasn't like that. I know how I was. She was delirious. I wasn't yourself. delirious either. So I um <laughs> they trying me because they know I don't believe in drunkenness. Anyway, I don't, you might so know anybody in this is what right happened, and I got in the car, and then I was I just took a little rest in the car. Now we're going to get ready to go get no, we're going to go watch fireworks at a friend's church. Before that, we have a pit stop at Starbucks. Fill up with gas while I was gone, did you? Nope. Cool. Oh, this is the day after the Fourth of July. Oh, <coughs> July. I'm wearing the same shirt again. You can't use this footage. I am using this footage. You should have put on a dirty shirt. Well, I didn't put on that shirt until last night, so I haven't had a whole day's wear. Then you sat next to the grill in it. Anyway. But it doesn't smell smoky at all. Oh, that's good. It don't smell like barbecue smoke, and it don't smell like fireworks smoke. Awesome. We are out and about because it's kind of an annoying reason, but when I went to drop off my paperwork at the community college where I teach, I was missing some of it. So we have to drive back there today. So we are in the car on our way there and then we're gonna do some other things. But I wanted to close this vlog. So I'm here telling y'all, thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up the video, comment, and click the subscribe button, and please click the notification bell so that you'll always know when a new video is coming. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.